The key is to keep moving. Uh, the marketing um, landscape is continually changing and evolving and you, uh, what defines you today may not define you tomorrow. You have to uh, constantly go back to your customers and evaluate um, what your business needs to them and what their business needs are and how you can sort of fit within that. Um, and so our company has meant so many different things over the years, but the one constant has always been video. Um, a lot of the DSPs in the space are built as omnichannel and are of algorithms and optimizations built really on display and our history and legacy from day one has always been about video about making it easier for television advertisers for, to find their audiences on many different screens again underlying through video it's all a piece of the big puzzle right you can't just have a strong uh, data solution for targeting to reach a very nuanced audience you have to have that but you also have to have attribution to be able to tie those metrics back to sales or back to lift or back to whatever um, the KPI is um, and you also have to have smart software to sort of tie the two together so all those pieces sort of go into this big um, puzzle so for us we look at ourselves as sort of um, being an open uh, platform that can work with as many different partners as possible. Uh, a shining example of this is our exclusive partnership with Alfonso. They are a leader in television viewership data and to be able to pull their information into our system to help match make and find that right audience on their mobile phone as they're multitasking or taking information from television and tying it back to different screens. Um, our software allows different data providers to do that as well as attribution companies. Um, so we go in saying, you know, we're going to find and curate all these great, amazing technologies um, that you might have to work with in five or ten different ways, but as us, we're going to be that ecosystem that curates that and finds your audience using all these different data sets and attribution partners all in one place. And so we're making it a lot easier for the advertiser to do business with very smart and you know new and innovative technologies, but all through one partner that they trust. And again, with a um, pure focus on video. You have to have a suite of products um, that can speak to a variety of different advertisers to be successful in the sales um, funnel. You can't have a one-size-fits-all approach. So the best sellers are the ones that are product experts and they can recommend right, the right solution for that um, customer's objective. So for me, you know, when I look at uh, what our sellers are pitching, it should never look the same. It should always look different. Um, so if you're working with an auto customer, you need to have, right, lead with Polk and JD Power and JD Radar and have attribution that speaks to walking into a dealership. Um, foot traffic is important, right, or obviously the whole car sale. Um, however, if you're speaking to an entertainment advertiser, you need to have the ability to tie back to tune-in metrics, which are very, very different. So did 10 years ago my sales pitch include closing the loop through actual uh, tune-in? No, but now it does. But my pitch always has been different whatever advertisers I'm speaking to. The thing, it, it, live television isn't going away. I mean, people still love TV. I love TV. I love getting my family around a major TV event. I love the living room experience. Um, so television is not going away at all. In fact, I think TV is at a really exciting time where there's better content um, than ever before available on television. It's just the way people are experiencing it that is different. And there are now more, um, you know, more funnels into seeing better content than there ever were before. You look at Apple Originals, right, is making a huge investment now, or Apple's making a huge investment in original programming. Uh, Facebook's getting into the game. YouTube TV just sponsored the World Series. So obviously you're seeing a big push to watch content on many different screens. Um, so I think that um, the landscape will continue to get more fragmented. Um, OTT is going to mean many different things, right? I, I get that question all the time in sales calls is, what's the difference between OTT and connected TV? Is there a difference? Um, and, you know, we just want to make it easier for advertisers to reach those audiences on all screens. So I think that's where um, companies like Roku and uh, like Dish with their Sling partnership and like Tremor Video connecting all screens and Alfonso or TV data, you know, are really going to help 
those advertisers move those dollars and make it easier um, for them to invest on digital.